and really exciting to share with you our new work Calibri. As you can see throughout the presentations, we're really focused on building a strong ecosystem where we can develop not just content, but also platforms and distribution methods to really help students learn. So our team is uh, primarily based in San Diego, California, but I think it's important to share that we're a really needs-driven organization. So our team is not just made up of developers, but also developers that have experience in the classroom, as well as folks who have experience on the ground, um, developing content, really focus on accessibility to the question earlier. So we work with partners to be able to leverage our very unique value add to the space, but not just focused on the technology that we're developing. So similar to a lot of you in the room, um, we're focused on addressing today's global challenge, the fact that kids are not necessarily in school, or even when they're in school, they're not necessarily learning basic skills. Um, and similar to what Nicole shared earlier, we recognize that there's a really strong wealth of materials that are available online, yet um, the access to the internet remains to be a challenge, um, and even in places where there is internet, it's often uneven or unreliable. And so similarly, we're focused on addressing um, this challenge by bringing educational materials offline. And so we've heard a little bit about KLite today, so I don't need to go into great detail, but we started with a product called KLite around five or six years ago that brought Khan Academy's videos and exercises offline. We were able to distribute it via various partnerships, including the one that we have with World Possible on the Rachel device, to be be able to get K light in the hands of, of learners. And through that, we've learned a lot, uh, not just about what content works and what's needed, but also the various hardware models uh, that can be used with the device. So not just necessarily with Rachel, but with other uh, devices. And also what pedagogy um, makes sense given these various hardware models. We've also learned a lot about the context and where this takes place. So generally, this content is designed to be supplementary. So in for use in rural settings, refugee camps, the prison system, that that Nicole mentioned earlier, but sometimes even in formal learning uh, settings as well. So we took all this learning and feedback and we put it into our new product called Calibri. And essentially the feedback we were getting from K-Lite and some of it we've heard here today is that Khan Academy is only one resource. It's developed in the West and even where it has been localized, it doesn't always address needs. So there's a need for more content. There was also a question earlier about curriculum alignment. We heard this quite a bit as well. We saw spreadsheets of people taking content and trying to take Khan Academy and align it to national curricula, but not always the most user-friendly and really effective for learning. And the additional piece, which we've also heard today, is around the need for additional pedagogical support for educators. Um, oftentimes, we're working in contexts where teachers don't have the resources on content, like you were sharing earlier, but also around how to do classroom management and, and what that looks like. And so we pulled all of that um, into Calibri. Again, it's a tool that doesn't require internet. It runs on a variety of hardware, both legacy and low-cost devices. And it also allows for seamless distribution and data syncing. And most important, it's also um, open source. So we started as an open source project. We continue to remain to be open source. And we try to eliminate as many barriers as possible to accessing quality educational material. Uh, so I just want to briefly describe to you the Calibri ecosystem because it's slightly different than K-Lite. So we first we have the Calibri application. This is where we have an open library of educational content. So similar to oer to go we have a variety of sources that come from all different parts of the world. We're really focused on pulling in really engaging content, so not just static PDFs, but really interactive HTML5 files like science simulations. We also have tools to understand student progress and support more differentiated learning by having the ability to group students into classes and then groups within those classes and assign those groups of students either exams or lessons, uh, so subsets of content, completely in an offline setting. Um, and so essentially it's LMS type functionality around the content that, um, that you would have on the Rachel device, for example, um, but again also in this offline setting. It is designed to be self-paced and designed for blended learning. So the way in which the content is organized in Calibri is essentially a series of folders and subfolders, and through that students can progress through content, or they can explore and search and find content on their own, or it can be assigned by a teacher. The second part is Calibri Studio, um, and this is currently an online tool, and we'll be bringing some of this functionality offline in the future. But essentially what Calibri Studio is, is the tool for remixing content. So what's unique about the work that we do is that instead of scraping whole websites, we pull individual pieces of content offline so that they can be remixed. Um, we're really leveraging some of the unique attributes of OER, uh, which is this ability to remix 
uh, regroup, re-edit. The tooling not only allows you to remix content, it also allows you to add in your own, as well as create your own exercises. And then the last piece um, of our ecosystem is the toolkit. Um, and I think for us what's important is that when we're providing these access to educational resources, we're also providing some additional guidance. So it's not always as simple as a plug and play solution because it's not always something that's preloaded onto a Rachel device. So sometimes there's a need for support to be able to actually get Calibri set up, but also guidance for, for teachers about how to actually integrate technology into various learning environments. So that ranges of material materials ranging from what is blended learning to how do you do peer mentoring and how do you support each other. And this toolkit is something that will continue to build out over time so that it better meets, fits the needs in various contexts. Um, so we've been working on Calibri for a couple of years now. We've been piloting since last summer in three different contexts in India, Uganda, and in Mexico. Uh, we also have a unique partnership with Vodafone Foundation where they provide free access to the platform in six sub-Saharan African countries. And we just launched a new partnership with UNHCR. We'll be iterating on Calibri for use in refugee contexts in four countries. Um, and so that's just the beginning. Uh, we're learning a lot about uh, how it's being used and how it can be used for the future. We have a strong roadmap ahead. Um, and we're really interested in collaboration, building off of what Taylor just said. We're thinking about content partners. Uh, a lot of you have talked about your own content that you've added onto the Rachel device, thinking of us as another means for distribution, also around research and implementation. So um, I hope that uh, you'll learn more. I'd love to show you during the um, session, the networking session later on, Calibri. I uh, have, have some here. I have it here on a device um, and some materials and really excited to work with you all. So thank you.